Hello and welcome to Technic Force tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a list to hold mail recipients. The purpose of this platform is to allow people to create cold email outreach campaigns and then reach their prospects with a series of emails based on the action taken by the prospects. Now, let me show you how to add subscribers in Pursue App. When you logged into your Pursue App account, go to the list located in the navigation menu. Start creating a new list by clicking on this plus icon in the bottom right corner. Enter a title, I'll have it subscribers. Enter your description. In my case, I'll write list of subscribers. Your list is now added. You will see these three different icons in it, which gives you the ability to add it, export through CSV, or delete it. In our case, let us click on this edit button. First thing you'd like to do is to add subscriber. The subscribers are whom you will send your emails, so you need to get the list of them so that you can add them here. You can use subscription forms, just click on this blue plus icon in the bottom right corner and fill up everything. You can also collect subscribers through API if you are an API user. You can just click on the API and trackers tab and you will be able to integrate through these APIs. Going back to the list, there are two options in adding your subscriber. First, you can manually add them by entering their details, which are the name and the email, and clicking this Add button. Second, on this right sidebar, it will allow you to upload your CSV file. Select your file and when you add them, a box pops up to let you select these required fields. They are the name field and the email field. You just have to add accordingly. As you can see, the list that you uploaded is now added as your subscriber together with your name, email, the source which will be labeled through this source drop down. This is actually where you collect your subscribers whether it is added here through API, Zapier, or subscription forms as I have mentioned earlier. There's also this validation, extra fields, date added, and the action. As you can see on this valid column, they are all unchecked as a reason that you still have to go to this email verification to verify them all. I will show that in my next video, so keep in touch. I hope you like this tutorial. We also have a bunch of demos and videos in this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Thanks for watching!